Like, I don't even know, like a parsnip? Like, what's a, not even a parsnip, what's that? Is not an aubergine, is it an aubergine? There's just, there's a fruit that goes like this and then it goes boom, mm -hmm. a light bulb. That's it, it's not even a fruit. It's electricity, I look like a light bulb. large you're not good with injections please like maybe skip some bits i will do like a warning so you guys know but i am going to give you guys i'm going to show you guys everything but if you don't like stuff like that just be prepared because there was blood so you know so you know hi guys and welcome back to my channel you guys know if i'm here we are doing a sit down talky video and this has been a highly requested video i was always going to do this by the way i was always going to do this video but guys we're finally here to talk about my hair journey my hair transplant like yo we have come a long way and the sun's shining i've got a shoot today like it's just such a good day to do this video i feel like it's been much awaited and the time is now so if you guys are new here hello hi i am marion musa the baddest of them all no i'm joking i'm your miss unproblematic if you guys are new here and you don't know much about me you don't really care about me like that you just want to know about the hair the hair transplant i have put time stamps of when i talk about the finances the prep um the journey all things like that so you guys can just skip to that part but if you guys are here for me and here for the good vibes then keep on watching this video and i'll tell you guys the full story of how we went from always wearing wigs and stuff like that to now doing creative protective styles in my natural hair so we've come such a long way and we're here and i'm so grateful to be here so let's just start from the beginning um, if you guys don't know january january slash february 2020 i shaved my hair completely to kind of just help my hair regrow i felt like if i shaved it completely i can kind of like start my hairline again because my hairline was so was was really weak things like i used to do pick and drop back in the day when i was at school so that kind of had its long-term damage like i love my hair up as you guys can see i love my hair all giving me that facelift so sometimes when you put it up in a tight bun or a tight ponytail especially when you've got things that are picking those thin hairs it pulls it and i didn't care i was young i was like that don't matter don't give it as we hit lockdown like literally just before lockdown i shaved my hair and like i said i thought it'd be such a good way to kind of help it grow from that january slash February 2020 of shaving my hair and you guys saw me get my hair treated for the first time since chopping my hair and it looks so good plant made was really really helping me like very very in love with their products i can vouch for their products they work so well and they worked really well for my hair so i felt like i was seeing growth and everything like that within a year my hair had grown and i was very happy with it don't get me wrong i had my hair out a couple of times and i still would wear wigs because the fuck i love it like why not and with my journey i've been so honest and open with you guys so i've always said this thing about road to 30 or whatever where by the time i'm 30 like my personal goals for my personal like self-love is making sure like i've got my hair to a stage where i feel so comfortable with it and confident with it so i can have it out do styles like this hello hello so do doing styles just switching it up because you can get so comfortable guys i got so comfortable just wearing wigs all the time feeling and looking my best in the wig don't get me wrong i'm a natural beauty babe like when i used to have my hair out in a pony before i done my hairline that would be really nice that constant wear of it the constant use of like alcohol that dried up my scalp um the, the glue that i was using wasn't really good it had like latex in it so that actually caused a burn on my forehead all the way around here which was literally where i'd place my wig faded so much so you guys know i did a green peel with fresh face london to help phased it out so if you guys you guys might have seen some of my videos if you're new here where maybe the thumbnail is this and that but that's how bad it was like that's how bad i got it and that's just stupidity at this point it was actually stupidity it's like having a cut and making the cut deeper instead of getting a plaster you know what i mean i got the fade to clear which was important just i was just in love with my wigs it was my bread and butter you know i was getting paid to do with, with, with videos i would get sent hair all the time it was my bag it was literally my bag because of that i'm actually so good at laying my own wig if you guys ain't seen my tiktok check it out you need to save that video overall up until my hair transplant i was having a really good journey with my hair feeling good with it however i just felt like this bit 
all of this, all of this was still weak. Like I felt like Plant Made definitely helped a lot and I definitely saw the difference and I will vouch for them for this day dot because I'm using them now and I'm already seeing the dif difference. But I just kind of felt like I need those follow crews back. I need those follow crews back in my head. To do this hairstyle right now, guys, I've come a long way and I'm just so happy. I'm just happy, I can't lie, I'm just very, very happy. Let's get to the transplant. So who I went with to do my hairline, I done mine in the UK. I done my hair transplant with Enhanced Medical Group and they were based in Manchester. I found them just by Googling them out and stuff like that. I saw so many reviews, I called them up and I asked them like, I'm a black woman, like how do you guys do black hair? They're able to show me some of the photos of before and after with like black um, clients, patients that went through them. When you speak to them on the phone, you kind of tell them what you want, what you're looking for. I was like in two minds about moving it forward or keeping it the same. So I explained to it to the guy and I showed him like my hair. I was still in two minds before I went and done my hairline, whether I wanted to bring my hairline forward or just fill in what was missing basically. The 30th of May 2022 was when I booked it all, um, I paid it all and stuff like that. So let me go into the finances of things. So I paid, let me get the receipt up. I thought I paid paid more but I didn't. Anyways yeah so I paid £5,000 for them to do it okay that's how much I paid so you have to pay a deposit up front so I paid £1,000 up front and then when it was I think a week before or two weeks before my date I ended up paying remaining £4,000. I did my hairline on the 19th of the 8th 2022 and my admission was at 8 30. the night before they ensure you have like a light breakfast which is what i done they said bring magazines and stuff like that and it's just pretty much chilled drink water they did say like before like you have to like avoid things and that's like with any surgery so like smoking and drinking i feel like garlic was said somewhere i don't know if it's a myth but i feel like he said avoid garlic I don't know why, but I'm sure he said that. That, I was just making sure I was a bit more healthy. I was drinking more water, not doing anything too wild, just to get me ready for the um, hair transplant. I drove up to Manchester. I remember just being so nervous. My good sis, Adriola, came with me. You can't do something like that by yourself. Someone needs to be able to drive you back and things like that. She was just there every step of the way, and um, she really like looked after me because I stayed with her through my healing process as well. And when I met my actual surgeon, he was like to me, oh, so what is your, like, what do you want? So what they done was they kind of mapped out and marked out where, like, where they feel like where they should start. So as you guys can see from the photos, so many photos, guys, so many memories. As you can see, the line is here, like, that's the faded line. That's the faded line. And then here is literally where they done it all yeah oh my god they did it as they marked it and i was like you know i'm happy with that as you guys can see from the side like it was just so thin like i said you guys can see the hair is thick but the hairline wasn't hairlining yeah they took me to the room and then the first thing they done was they start off by shaving the back of my head so they had to get where my follicles was the most like was the most active the most strongest hair and that is literally the back of my hair it's so thick so they took about um if i don't say it in this video i'll put it on screen but they took a certain amount of grafts like hair grafts and um they did a lot for me because i need it so you guys will see from the photo like the the back of my hair so when they like shaved it off so they literally took all of that out so the back of my hair i'll post another video so you guys can see how it's looking like even the nap scene again with the natural curls and the ringlets come out i'm just like i love my hair disclaimer yes yeah, so if you guys don't really like needles i'm gonna start showing you guys and talking about the needle bit a bit more so you guys can see so then after that guys what they do oh my god this was the worst bit like this is the worst bit is they inject the front of your hair and the back of your hair. So the reason why they have to inject the back is because obviously they need to like take out the grafts and like that takes some time. And then they need to obviously inject around here so that when they are putting in like the grafts in your hairline, it doesn't hurt. And that bit was the, was the most painful. It wasn't a pleasurable pain, but it was definitely manageable. So it's like, and then your head kind of goes numb. It stings, it's like pepper soup. It's meant to numb your forehead so that you don't feel anything and they can just get on with it without them thinking, oh, we're hurting this poor girl. So as they were doing the back injections, 
that was calm, that hurt, and then they've done the front injection, that one hurt more. So you guys can see all those little bumps on screen, those are like the little injections, literally you swell up like straight away. Like, so at that point, I was definitely a bit tired, you know, with pain and stuff like that, and, anti and whatever they inject you with, it can just make you a bit drowsy, so I was very like, mm, like, just getting kind of mellow just getting ready to just let them do their work so then after that they shave it so what he done was he pretty much shaved behind that line so that is a clear like there's a clear canvas for him to work with he knows where he's putting the graphs and the the thick hair the hair of that's like here he could he just can see that he can just it's just there it's just there that's literally it my forehead obviously looks way bigger there because he shaved it to what it is now because it's back, do you get what I'm just saying? Oh my God, this bit is really funny because I literally look like this emoji, like my friends in the group chat when I was sending them the pictures, they said I look like this alien. I'll post it so you guys can see. You'll see like they'll start by creating the incision. So they kind of pierce little holes in your head where the grass would go. And he said to me that some of where my front hair is, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. He said this in like, you guys, when if you guys do it, they might say it to you. But sometimes in one graft, you might have three hair follicles like poking out or one or two and he wanted to make sure like the one that had three would go at the front so that more hair will come out there and it's just thicker he had these really cool glasses and i think they're like magnifying to obviously get the proper zoomed up effect so yeah and then whoa guys these photos are really mad like these videos but that's literally what it was doing i felt absolutely nothing like nothing at all but that is me after all of the little incisions it literally made my head like swell up like 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 i don't even look like a parsnip like what's a not even a parsnip what's that is not an aubergine is an aubergine there's just there's a fruit that goes like this and then it goes mm -hmm. A light bulb. That's it. It's not even a fruit. It's electricity. I look like a light bulb. It was really funny. Like I can laugh at myself like stuff like this. So if any of you lot screenshot it and try and call me, it's fine because I can laugh at it right now. Yeah, it was just wild, guys. I just couldn't believe how mad I looked. Like I was like, rah. Like there was no way anyone can see me and catch me sleeping like that. There's no way. There's no way. So happy go lucky me. Like just excited. Like take like just enjoying it because when am I gonna look like that again? Like, there's no reason. Yeah, there was loads of blood. Like, it will, I'll be dripping with blood. Yes, guys, I found it. I, they said I look like him. Like him. Like him. As you guys can see, like, they have little tweezers. They're literally putting it in and things like that. And it made it quicker. After that, you know, they make you put your head, like, they wrap it around in this, like, blue thing. So, literally, it's done. So, I've been there from 8.30. It's 5. They're still adding the few follicles. Um, I fell asleep. All things like that. I watched movies. I just watched Vampire Diaries the whole time. Guys, you know I me. Mean. What else am I going to watch? Vampire Diaries. There's about, what, eight seasons? Series? I watched that. So, when I was done, Adiola picked me up and she was just like are you okay babe i'm like yeah i'm okay i'm just tired gotta be so careful the first basically like the first couple of days well the first week i was just careful the whole week um you can't knock it you just gotta kind of stay up because it's just newly inserted so you don't want to be doing things or sleeping away where you can knock out your new follicles because then that's a waste they give you like literally a booklet of everything you need and what to do after so so from what i remember they give you like this spray thing which is like a it's like a stir sirline sterline spray where you kind of spray around your head a couple of times um throughout the day you do about two you do it two three times a day first kind of week is pretty much just spraying it making sure you're just keeping it hydrated also they told oh my god guys they told me that i had to like basically keep massage in my face but because it was so sweet swollen and even though i love pain it just really hurt and low key the the the, the crackhead i am kind of wanted to see how i would look like swelled up like that like i knew i just i would swell back down but me i was cushy i wanted to see how how far my face could go like how like mad it would and guys it was swollen i've never seen my face you won't believe it's the same person prepare yourself if you guys are ready for that and you want that then don't, don't massage but i would advise to massage because obviously you just never know like your face could actually not go back god forbid it couldn't but me i live life on the freaking edge guys i was enjoying looking like that i don't give a heck like when will i look like that again like not never i'm all about experiences guys i'm all about life experiences 
guys when life gives you lemons you make lemonade you just keep going so that was my energy when I had my swollen face. It did swell down. It took like a week to go back down and I was just enjoying myself as it was swollen. The main things was you do the stir line stuff first. And then after that, you can start putting like baby shampoo, let it trickle down your hair and just letting it wash down. So what will happen as well, you start to scab. So I found that I was scabbing, 20, done it on the 19th, 20th, already it was scabbing, because obviously it's dry blood. So the main thing of like keeping it clean is to just make sure you keep that dry blood moisture so that it can like flake off. Guys, your sheets are going to be dirty. Like just letting you know, you've got to sleep with a pillow, cake, like a neck, what's it called? A neck thing that like you go to where you work. Guys, what's going on? um yeah so you can sleep with a neck pillow and stuff like that that really helped and then um yeah guys it was just i just can't believe how mad i looked yeah i can't believe how mad i looked oh god guys i done my hairline on the 19th 20th was to come and then from the 21st that's when it was really really swelling up oh my god guys it was just horrific no guys i'm looking at you like how oh, is that me no guys it was mad like it's mad no oh it was ill it was just giving icky so when it's been about i'd say when it's been about a good full week you can actually wash your whole hair you can start you like, using your hands to like, get rid of the scabs they and they recommend you using like johnson's baby one for it as well so i use just baby shampoo obviously when doing hairline and hair transplant i can't really go out with my hair like that what can i do i did ask the surgeon like okay so when can i start wearing wigs again like obviously just just so I can just go out, not even gluing wig, just to have it down. And he was like, literally about like two weeks after, I'm gonna say three weeks after, let me just say three for definite. And I think I ended up doing a whole four weeks before, or I done two weeks before. Yeah, so basically I did my hairline on the 19th of August. And then by the 31st of August, I was able to go to put like a wig on, go to the gym and do all of that, but not like a glued down with like a closure wig. So it was cool. And then me and Adriola had a little Amsterdam break. I don't know if you guys remember, went to Amsterdam, had a wig on, but the wig I had was one where I didn't need to glue it down. So I just kind of did that flicky one, literally just spray just this bit, cause I didn't do that bit. They just sprayed that bit and that was it. And yeah, it's been cushy since. Was able to do a front all for the GRM and so on and so forth since getting my hairline done i haven't relaxed it i've kept it natural i've had like washes in between where they've trimmed off the relaxed bit so pretty much i feel like my hair is like natural now my debut i guess was obviously as you guys would have heard from press and from the mexico holiday we took i took my wig off i just do it and i was like yeah i feel like my hair it's time and it hasn't even been a full year it'll be a full year in august like they did say like a full year is when you'll see the real growth and there's been growth before that, obviously since saying it and making it, I was always gonna do this video, always guys. I really wanted to make sure my hair, I did feel really comfortable and confident doing it. Cause I feel like sometimes with that, you just get held accountable. Like people are gonna just be expecting to see my hair all the time. And it's like, you lot calm down. <laughs> like I've never said I was a natural flex babe. Like since when? Sis has had her boob job. You guys know me, you know me. So let's not go there. Let's not go there. So I did feel a bit like if, if I say it, everyone's just gonna expect me to have my hair out all the time. I can never wear a wig. Just, I didn't need that pressure. So it was really important for me to ensure that I did it in my time and my way. And guys, look at me now. Like yesterday I went and got my braid. This is the first time I've done like braid. Let me even put this back so you guys can see me in all my greatness. <laughs> I'm just so excited to do all these new styles. Hope you guys are caught up. But anyways, guys, it's been real. I have been your Miss Unproblematic. And yeah, this has been my hair journey, my hairline story. And if you guys love this video just off of me, then stick the fuck around and subscribe right now. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be a vlog. I promise, I promise. But I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys very soon.